Hello, I'm Dr. Marie-France Giroux, and I'm an interventional radiologist at the SHIM. Interventional radiologists are experts at putting in what we call IVs, or intravenous devices, into patients. We insert these venous devices to treat different conditions. For instance, we use PICC lines um, to give long-term chemotherapy, um, antibiotics, uh, nutrients. And this is effective because uh, if we didn't have these devices, we'd have to puncture patients several times a week or a month to give these treatments. Interventional radiologists also put in these devices, these catheters, um, in patients that uh, have failed kidneys so they can have proper dialysis. Venous accesses that we put in are also used for different treatments. For example, ephyresis that we use for patients that have uh, blood diseases or bone marrow transplant. Interventional radiologists also put in these um, portacats. They're specific uh, venous access devices that are put completely under the skin and it has a chamber um, in which we can puncture through the skin and give different medication, especially chemotherapy. And these are long-term venous accesses. Uh, I have a patient that had it for 25 years and it's been functioning. And the main advantage of this device is that there's very low risk of infection and patients can act as if it wasn't there. They can go swimming, they can bathe without a problem, and that's a huge advantage for them. During the insertion of these venous devices, we use um, different tools, one of them being live x-ray fluoroscopy, so we can make sure that the IV is in proper position. Uh, we can use ultrasound to find veins that nobody else can find uh, in these patients that are so-called impossible to access. And that not only gives an access to the patient, uh, which is mandatory, but also reduces the risks of complications.